Okay, hi guys. This is the second part of uh, the uh, revision notes booklet one. And uh, in the last part, we had solved ten questions. Okay, so uh, there are only three questions remaining, and I am going to complete uh, these three questions. Uh, so this is going to be re a relatively shorter video. Okay, uh, today is fifteenth August twenty seventeen. So we are celebrating the Indian uh, Independence Day. Thus, I am going to uh, follow. A green uh, saffron and uh, white uh, pattern here, so you know, in order to pay tribute to the Indian uh, uh, national flag. Okay, so green, uh, saffron, and white is uh, are our colors for today. Okay, so let's just start with this question. Okay, uh, so the question says that we need to calculate a fifty four. Okay, and uh, usually, if if you are asked to calculate the uh, A54 that is the EPV of uh, endowment assurance contract payable for four years. You can do it pretty uh, easily because uh, for the reason that you can you know directly refer to the tables and then uh, calculate the term assurance and add the pure endowment part in order to get the endowment assurance. But here the problem is that you can't apply the tables because they have not specified. Which mortality table is being followed? They have not written AM ninety two or ELT fifteen or anything like that. Okay, so no information, uh, no such information is given. Instead, they have told us that mortality is following this particular pattern. So they have given us specific Q values, and they have told us six percent interest per annum is followed. So this makes this question a bit different from the others. This is not tricky. We need to apply the first principles directly. We need to apply the definition of an endowment assurance contract, and it would be pretty straightforward. So you should not be intimidated by this. Let me switch to a white pen now. Okay. So uh, what we are doing uh, here is applying the first principle. So let's understand how we do this. Okay. So uh, you need a and and the reason we are doing this is because we have not been specified a, a table rather we have been told that uh, that basically we uh, will be you know we have to use these uh, mortalities that is what we have been told so we are going to apply the first principle okay so a54 is basically the sum of the term assurance and a pure endowment so it's a514 plus a54 one right so that's what it is now if i if i expand these definition so this is sum of going from k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is basically 3 v to the power of k plus 1 because the payment should be at the end of the year of death and the probability of a person dying in the k year so that is k deferred qx right so this is what we have and this is just a Pure endowment contract. So uh, this becomes probability that a person aged X survives for four years, and then he, um, and if he survives, he gets a payment. So uh, it's just V four. And if I write this more simply, it's just K going from zero to three V to the power of K plus one K deferred Q fifty. Okay, plus four uh, P fifty. Because x is for fifty, uh, obviously into v four, right? So this is what I have. Let's just expand this and then put put the values that we need. Okay, so let's expand this. This is just equal to v to the power of k plus one. So zero plus one is one. So v into k deferred q x would be zero deferred q x. So it would be q fifty. Okay, plus v to the power of one plus one is two. So v square into one deferred q fifty. Plus v to the power of three into two uh, deferred q fifty. Plus v to the power of four into three deferred q fifty. Okay. Uh, plus I've got a v to the power of four into four um, p fifty. Right. This is what I have. I can actually expand this further. This is just v into q fifty. This is just v square into one deferred q50. So the person has to first live for one year and then die within the next year. So this is probability that person age 50 lives for one year and then dies. Okay, so this is q51, right? So p50 into q51 plus v to the power of 3 into he has to live for two years. So 
2p50 and, and then q52 okay plus v to the power of 4 into uh, probability that a person is 50 survives for 3 years and then q53 okay and this term this is just um, v to the power of 4 into p So, so this is what I have. Let's just expand this further. I can just write this as V into Q50. Okay. Because I have uh, the, the Q values given directly, I'll have to use them, right? So, uh, in order to uh, use them, I, I can convert them into the P probability. So, I can, I can find things like P50 and P51 because I have Q50 and Q51, right? Uh, so let's just simplify, uh, simplify this, this term in, uh, those, in terms of those things. So this becomes VQ50 plus V square into P50 into Q51, okay? Plus VQ, see, uh, P52, I can just, uh, this is the probability that a person age 50 survives for two years, okay? So this, this is basically equal to the probability that a person age 50 survives for one year, then a, then a probability uh, that a person age 51 survives for one more year. And then he has to die between 52 and 53, so Q52, right? This term as it is. Plus, V to the power of 4, okay, uh, I can, I can do some sort of an adjustment here. See, uh, all this is saying is v to the power of 4, uh, 3p50 into q53, okay? And I've got a 50p4 here, okay? So, actually, this term, just this term, I can write this as v to the power of 4 into uh, 50p3 into p53, um, right? So, I can add these two terms up they look very similar v to the power 4 is same 3p50 is same just p53 and q53 add up and they add up to 1 okay so uh, basically what i'm left with is just this part v to the uh, 3p50 right because these two they add up to 1 okay so i can just write this as 3p50 and inside a bracket i've got a p53 into q53 right uh, add added plus so this just becomes one okay so this term just goes away okay so this is what i have this is my actual final result i can i can actually uh, write this as this as something i can write this as p50 into p51 into p52 right this is what i can write this as so now that I have this equation, all I need are these values. I need the P and Q values. So in the question, basically, I have been given that Q50 is equal to, it is equal to 0 0.05, okay? And I know also, so this would imply that P50 would be equal to 0 0.95, right? Uh, similarly, Q51 is equal to 0 0.06. This would imply that P51 would be equal to 0 0.94, right? So these are a few things that I know, okay? Now, next thing I need is uh, Q52. So Q52 is basically equal to 1.1 into Q51. So this is equal to 1.1 into 0 0.06. So uh, this just becomes 0. 066 right and this implies that p52 is uh, equal to 1 minus 0 0.066 that is just 0 0.934 okay uh, so these are the things that i have now all i need to do is actually just um take interest rate equal to six percent which is given in the question and put everything into this equation and just solve okay so that's all i need to do now let's just do that okay let's just get this over with okay so what i had here was let's see what do i have 
a v okay so that's just 1.06 to the power of minus 1 okay uh, into q50 so that's just 0 0.05 plus i got a v square so that's 1.06 to the power of minus 2 into probability that uh, the person age 50 survives so it's p50 so it's uh, 0 0.95 into then he dies in the next year so it's q51 0 0.06 okay um plus obviously uh, 1.06 to the power of minus 3 survives in the first year 0 0.95 survives in the second year 0 0.94 and then dies in the third year so 0 0.066 okay so this is this is what i have plus 1.06 to the power of minus 4 into 0 0.95 into 0 0.94 into 0 0.934 right that's that's that those are three terms we have see we got p50 p51 p52 okay so this is my final answer and if if you solve this you will get 0 0.80804 okay so that is your final answer that's how you do such questions okay so that's that answer. Okay, I forgot to mention a small thing here. Uh, it is pretty straightforward, uh, but let's let's just see it. Okay, uh, in the question they have just written that Q fifty one plus T is equal to one point one into Q fifty plus T. Okay, so uh, in order to find this relationship here, which which I gave you directly instead of you know showing you this, uh, we just put t is equal to 1 okay if you put t is equal to 1 you get 2 q 52 is equal to 1.1 times q 51 right so that is that is how you can actually um, get this relationship q 52 q 52 is equal to 1.1 times and this is the value of q 51 okay so uh, that's that's how you do it actually okay so this is your next question okay question number 12 and this is pretty pretty small three mark question okay so let's just uh, do this uh, it says that derived to the nearest integer the median of the complete future lifetime of a person is 30 exact who is subject to the uh, force of mortality shown below okay so they have given us um, you know slap wise uh, force of mortality that is uh, the person is aged 30 plus t okay so uh, when 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 t is equal uh, t is going from 0 to okay so when uh, t goes from 0 to 10 that is when he is aged between 30 to 40 uh, basically he, his mortality follows this uh, this pattern that is uh, mu is equal to 0 0.01 constant throughout this term when his mortality goes from uh, 40 to 50 it's um, 0 0.02 and when it goes from uh, um, when, when beyond uh, 50 years of age his mortality basically follows this 0 0.03 mu is the value uh, that that's the value of mu and they want us to calculate the median okay so basically median uh, the formula of a median is it is basically when uh, you know it is the central uh, positional average okay it is a central positional average that is half of the values are less than the median and half of the values are greater than the median so basically um, median will lie at the point when probability that uh, x is x this is a small x x is less than equal to capital x is uh, equal to 0 0.5 okay so when when the probability that x is less than equal to x is equal to 0 0.5 that's that's your median okay so uh, this is the uh, if if i talk about uh, in terms of mortality it's just saying that the probability that a person aged maybe x uh, dies by the time uh, he's t that is less than it is a less than probability right 
So QX, uh, TQX is basically equal to 0 0.5, right? Um, if, if I write this, this can be written as probability that TX is uh, less than equal to T, right? This is what, how you can write it in random variable terms because TX is the exact future lifetime and it is equal to 0 0.5. So if I write this in terms of the Q notation, this says that TQX is equal to 0 0.5. And if TQX is uh, equal to 0 0.5, that would mean that TPX is also equal to 0 0.5, right? Um, they both uh, add up to 1. So if 1 is 0 0.5, the other would be 0 0.5. And now, now I can just apply the formula for TPX directly. So basically, if I talk about this, I, I need uh, the probability TPX to be 0 0.5, okay? So e to the power of minus 0 0.01, okay, into 10, that's his mortality for the first 10 years, into e to the power of minus 0 0.02 into 10, that's his mortality for the ne next 10 years, and into e to the power of minus um, 0 0.03 into, let's call this T, Okay, so uh, if, if I could find the value of t, uh, I'll be able to find the value of, um, basically I'll be able to find the value of uh, his uh, expected future lifetime. Okay, so if, if I get t, I'll know how, how long he will live after 20 years. Okay, so that's something I can get. If I add these up, uh, see, I've used the formula of, uh, that uh, TPX is basically equal to e to the power of minus mu t, right? Because uh, I've already told you this, when mu is constant, this is your formula for TPX. Because usually it is uh, e to the power of minus going from 0 to t mu x plus s ds, right? But if, if mu is constant, it just becomes this because if you cons if you integrate a constant it just becomes uh, um, the variable times that constant so it's r mu t okay so you get it right uh, let's add these up so this becomes minus um, let's let me get a calculator okay so it is e to the power of minus 0.1 plus 0.2 okay This is just e to the power of minus 0 0.3 um, minus 0 0.03 t, right? Is equal to 0 0.5. What I can do is I can take a log on both sides. So let's take a log on both sides. So log of 0 0.5 is basically equal to okay, a bad value. I don't like this. Minus 0 0.69 uh, 3 1 four seven okay I, let's let's make it a bit more eight one two okay so this is what i get and this is equal to minus 0 0.3 um minus 0 0.03 t okay and let's just adjust it to get the value of t okay so t would basically be equal to So T is coming out to be 13.1110. That is almost the value of T. Okay. So what uh, what the question asked me was was the median lifetime. So the median lifetime would be. First 10 years at the first mortality plus more, 10 more years at, uh, at mu is equal to 0 0.02 plus t years, that is 13.10. So it just becomes uh, 20 and uh, 33.10. And that's that's the median future lifetime of your person, okay? So it's 33.10 and that is your answer. Okay, uh, so this is the last question of your booklet one of the revision notes and this is a pretty straightforward question. I am sure you won't find any difficulty with this. And I'm just solving it. So a four mark question for you guys. A whole life assurance policy. So there's a whole life assurance policy that provides a benefit of one lakh that is payable immediately on death of a person. So we'll be using a immediate notation. Okay. Uh, of a male life who is age 45 right now. Okay, so A45 
this is this would be the EPV. Okay. Uh, calculate showing all your workings, the expected present value of this policy and the variance of the value of this policy. Perfect. Okay. So uh, these are the two things that I need. Okay. So in color saffron, EPV is basically equal to a continuous uh, 45 into the amount. Amount would be 1 lakh. Okay. Or whatever you call it. It's um, 10, 100,000. So that's that's the amount okay and uh, this would be a 45 I, I need this value right so I can write this as a 45 into using using the acceleration of uh, formula I can write this as a 45 into 1.04 to the power of 0 0.5 okay I had discussed this formula when when I was discussing uh, the chapter on assurance functions so actually you can accelerate it using this this formula the interest rate one plus the interest rate to the power of 0 0.5 so this is just a x immediate is equal to a x into one plus i to the power of 0 0.5 okay so you can you can always use these formula there were a lot of other ways of adjusting this but i already told you this is the way we use in the exams okay into uh, this hundred thousand okay now all I need is this value from the tables let's check it let's find it out it is uh, always check this this is ultimate mortality and not select okay so I just verified it is ultimate mortality now let's just find this a45 this is 0 0.27605 into 1.04 to the power of 0 0.5 into 100,000 okay let's just zero point two seven six zero five into 1.04 to the power of 0 0.5 into 100,000 so this becomes 28,000 verify the answer uh, from from your answers i'm not i i do not have this part of the revision notes answers okay i've got old revision notes and chap question number 13 is not in them okay i'm just doing uh, it for you guys so uh you can just check your answer from from the revision notes whatever is given to you i'm not sure this one but it should be it should be okay next thing i need is the variance okay variance uh, would be hundred thousand squared up into two a continuous x 45 minus a immediate x to the power of uh, square okay so uh, this is what I have let's just do it okay so uh, for your information we we know something we know that a immediate x basically this thing is equal to ax into uh, 1 plus i to the power of 0 0.5 if i need to calculate 2ax okay this this squared factor it just becomes 2ax that is that is uh, the year end payments epv into 1.0 uh, here it is 0 0.4 to the power of 0 0.5 this factor was there and we square this factor up okay so uh, that is what happens right so this is what you can do and uh, this just becomes uh, 2 a x into 1 plus i to the power of c uh, i have got 2 and 0 0.5 in the power so they just multiply okay so i just have uh, 1 plus i left so I, that's how i can do this let's just solve it it's just one uh, thousand squared up this just becomes uh, a45 into 1.04 okay this is what i have minus this factor this is just uh, a45 into 1.04 to the power of 0 0.5 this is the factor that i had and i had to i have to square the whole thing 
So this is what you have. This, there's a two here. Okay. okay. So this just becomes one hundred thousand into this factor is given as at age forty five. It is zero point zero nine four five eight. This is one point zero four, plain and simple. This is uh, this was given as zero point two seven six zero five, and this is one point zero four to the power of zero point this thing. Okay, so this is what you have, and let's calculate the final answer. Five zeros into zero point zero So this is coming out to be one nine one one seven one nine five one point four, or I can write this as thirteen eight twenty six point four nine square. Okay. So this is what you have. This is your final answer. Thank you. That's that's all for today. And uh, cheers.